Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my brand new PES Master League series. PES 20 just dropped, and I'm so excited to be bringing you my first Master League series of this year's title. And we are going to be going with Monaco over in France. Just before we get into it, I want to say a massive thank you to PES for sponsoring this series. You can go ahead and get the game right now on Steam, PS4, Xbox. It is live. They've got the live updated squads as well which is obviously very exciting. Now you can go ahead and have all the latest transfers in your team. And don't forget, they've got Juventus exclusively in this game. Manchester United, Arsenal are all uh, partnered up and, and you know part of the actual game this year. Also, a massive shout out to Pez Universe for providing me the option file. So I've got all the latest kits, all of the official badges and stuff like that. If you want your game to have all of the proper squads, leagues, whatever it may be, then Pez Universe is the place to be. There is a link to their site down below. So this is it, guys. The Monaco squad, it's actually a very big squad. We've got a lot of players in our team here. 81 attacking, 79 midfield, 78 defence. It's certainly not as strong as the Monaco side that won the French League just a couple of years ago. It feels like it was actually more recent than it actually was. Back when Mbappe was still there, they had some incredible players. Bernardo Silva, Fabinho... All of these great talents. And that's what I'm hoping to achieve again. I want to win the French title with Monaco. So what's new in PES this year when you come to playing Master League? Well, look at this. You can pick base managers that are actually real life managers and legends. You've got Cruyff, Maradona, Zico. You've also got uh, custom managers down at the bottom that obviously have, have been created. So I don't know who I'm going to go with. I kind of feel like going with Rude Hullet. I don't know why. I, I think the guy's an absolute legend. Roberto Carlos. It's brilliant. Actually, I'll tell you what. As this is my first one, let's go with... I'm going to go with this guy here. But of course, we are going to change his name. So we're going to go with... I think we're going to go with Mr. And then we're going to go, of course, with MGH. That's going to be my name. We are, of course, from England. And do we go with a suit? Do we go with the shirt? Do we go sportswear? I think we're going to go with the suit. Let's go ahead and start up this. So this is really interesting. We've got transfer frequency, negotiation difficulty, the starting budget, the window transfers at the start, um, which we're going to leave enabled. I don't see why not. When it comes to maybe doing a FIFA save, I might, I might disable these. But on PES, we're definitely going to leave that open. We're going to go with weekly salary because that's just what I'm used to. Uh, I don't know what difficulty I want to go on. I'm going to go with top player for now. We'll go with 10 minute match time. That's fine. Uh, they've got new currency units, it seems. They've got yen there, euro, dollars, pounds, Brazilian. But we're going to go with euro seeing as we are in France. Uh, stop when there's only progress. Yep, let's go ahead and start it up with those settings. Honestly, I'm so excited for this. They've got so many cut scenes and added new features. I mean, just look at this. How awesome does this look? I'm walking down Monaco's facilities here. I haven't got my jacket on though. So unprofessional. And we're going to meet up with, I think that's Captain Glick. Is he the current captain? There we've got Slimani as well. Is he on loan from Leicester? Or is he on loan from, I think he went to one of the Turkish clubs, didn't, clubs, didn't he? We've got Ben Yedda, new signing of course this season for Monaco. He's going to be an incredible striker for us. And of course, we've got Pellegri, the young Italian. Um, trying to recognise some of the other faces here. That might be Jemison, the defender. Um, I'm not too sure. Hopefully, the game's running okay, by the way. When I played the demo, it was kind of difficult to record it. It was a bit choppy, but it seems to be running okay. It might be I need to tweak a couple of settings. So there we go. We've had the opening cutscene. And now we're going into the season objectives. So we're sitting down with our staff here. Let's see. What are we going to be deciding today? I'm guessing it's going to be the objectives for the season. So where are we going to finish in the league? Um, are Monaco in the Champions League? I don't think they are this season, are they? As sports director, I think we should be aiming to win the league this year. What's your opinion? What? Um, winning the league? That's, I think, maybe a bit bit too much you know Monaco really struggled last season um, I think making it into the top four should be our our main target I'm gonna go with that one 
I believe it's best we aim to finish the season in position to win a place in the UEFA Champions League. That's exactly what I think. I think that's about right, guys, don't you think? With the squad we got, we should be getting top four. I guess a steady plan may work better. All right, you have my backing. Good to see the board is backing me. It's exactly what we want at the start here. Looks like the other guy is supporting us as well. Says it's not as ambitious as they were thinking, but do you know what? It's okay to sometimes go in with a slightly less pressured target and then maybe we can overachieve and blow those expectations. But it uh, looks like we're going into our first press conference here. How awesome is this? This is just amazing. Let's see what kind of questions we get. Congratulations on your appointment. You're quite the journeyman manager, journeyman manager, having managed at a number of other clubs. I haven't. This is my first one. Is your appointment at this club the crowning moment of your career? Oh my God. <laughs> um, it's a fresh start. We're going to go with that one. Firstly, I'd like to stress how grateful I am. Humbled. Uh, while I certainly feel like I'm on top of the world right now, I hesitate to throw phrases like crowning moment around. Too true. Too true. We will make sure come the end of the season, though, we'll be back here in a press conference saying how successful the season has been. I want to make some good signings. I also want to sell a couple of players. So, yep. Yeah. What style of football do you want to play this season? I certainly want to go with like a, an attacking, maybe like a 4-3-3 formation, get some really nice passing going. Um, I guess we want to put on a show. Boys play hard. I'm guessing that's going to be more defensive, just more physical, clean, sportsmanlike football. I mean, that's great, but I want to put on a show. That's what football's all about, right? It's, it's an entertainment sport for sure. You can't blame people for wanting to see results, but I'm of the opinion that putting on a good show is just as important as winning. Hell yeah. Although, you know, you can play well, but if you keep losing... Play dirty if you have to. Play defensive if you have to. Get those three points. The results... I mean, after all, it's a results game. It is more important. So there is the press conference. Done and dusted. Fantastic cutscenes. I absolutely love the, uh, the detail. So here we go. Welcome to Master League. This is the beginning of your career as manager. So we can check our emails. Access the diary from the top left panel at any time. And when ready to go, forward time. Okay. Wow, look at this. Whoa, we've got a lot of followers in the bottom right corner. 1.5 million followers. Look at us go. So it looks like we don't have a pre-season tournament. I, I'm pretty sure that, that one will pop up. I'm pretty sure that was a new feature this year. We've got um, kind of like a news window here. This is just amazing. Look at this. Mr. MGH appointed as manager. First things first, let's go ahead and take a look through my emails here. So training regimes, I'm sorry I couldn't find the time to explain this in person, but here's what you need to know about the players' training regimes. Currently, the training staff is putting the players through a regime of their own, but you may want to decide for yourself. So we can change it around a little bit. We've got some scouting activities going on in the background as well. Two weeks normally to get some scout reports back. Managing the budget, I've got no idea how much money we've got actually. That's something we need to check in a moment. Managerial career, okay, we can take a look at that. And the schedule. So we've got national team squad announcement. Uh, the league gets underway. European best player awards. I'm guessing Ronaldo or Messi will be winning that one. And we've got our last day of the transfer window at the end of August. Okay, good to know. So the next thing I really want to do is, of course, take a look at the squad. So let's go into our game plan here. And, okay. Um... There's a few players there that definitely, well, there's a there's a lot of players on the bench here that I want to get into this team ahead of some of the other players. Wait, Bakayoko? Since when was Bakayoko playing back at Monaco? Oh, that's brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, first thing we should do is the formation. So I'm thinking of going with a 4-3-3. I don't know which 4-3 I want to uh, 4 3 3 I want to go for. Probably. This one, but a little bit less attacking than that. I might drop the cam a little bit. Attacking instructions. So we want to hit them on the break. Nah, I think we want to go with the possession game. And then we want to go short passing. And I want to go wide, do I? Center? Uh, no, I'm happy with that. Defensively, I want to be front line pressure. I want to win the ball up high in the pitch. So around midfield, try and get the passes out. Although that would suit counter-attacking a little bit more, maybe. Uh, okay, we'll go out. We'll go all-out defense for now. 
Containment area. I want to go middle, I think. Try and get this a little bit further up the pitch than normal. We want to be aggressive. And we can push the line up even higher here. But that will just mean we get hit on the counter. If a, if a pacey striker gets in behind, I am done for. Although, defensively is somewhere I think I'm going to need to work. I do want to bring in a centre-back at some point. So, maybe we'll go with a bit of a pacier centre-back. We've got advanced instructions here. Uh, so, on attack, we can go with... I want to go... Tiki Taka, and I also want to have um, false number nine, maybe? Draw a striker in and have the wingers kind of go behind. So I think we're going to go with that one. Deep defensive line is good. And then we're going to go with Gagan Press. Okay, nice. So now we've done that. Let's go ahead and adjust this formation just slightly. We're going to bring that position back a little bit. This one can go out a little bit. I think if we if we just get them a little bit higher up the pitch, it might give us a little bit more going forward. I think that's good. Um, so if I do the auto lineup select, that's the team it's recommending I use. So Onye Kuru, on loan from Everton, I guess. Or was he permanently moved to Gal Galatasaray now he's on loan? I haven't actually looked at some of the permanent transfers. But Onye Kuru on the left, Ben Yedda up top, and Gelson Martins on the right. We then got Golovin. Bakayoko and Adrian. I think I'd rather go with Fabregas, even though I'm an Arsenal fan. Fabregas is the player of choice here for me. He's going to be a better passer of the ball. So we'll go, and go ahead and put him on centre midfield. Um, Defensive midfielder and Golovin's a, a fantastic player, isn't he? So then we've got uh, Balatore on the left, Glick and Jemison. Jemison is right-footed, Glick is right-footed as well, isn't he? I'm going to swap those two around. Aguilar on the right side. Big fan of him. Uh, we've also got Keita Balde. Oh, my God. That is insane. We've got a lot of very good players here. I'm a big fan of Keita Balde. But he doesn't get in this team. Although, he's right-footed and I could put him on the left. That might actually be a very good shout. Because Gelson Martins... Oh, he's right-footed as well. Okay. Well, we go with Keita Balde. Onye Kuru can come in as a sub, maybe. Yeah, we'll give that a go. We've got Boshia there. Boshilia. I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. We've got Diaz. Diop. We've got Henriks. Ooh. Who is better, Henriks or Aguilar? I don't know. That's a real tough one. I think I'm going to go with... Maybe I'd go with Henriks. Let's have a look at just defense. Yeah, defensive awareness wise and ball winning. Henriks is the better choice, which I wasn't expecting. We've got Slimani, Augustin, and then we've got some decent um, players on the reserves as well. Jovetic there. Okay, I know roughly what I want to do with this team. 100% I need a center back. And I would also like to bring in a center midfielder that can go next to Bakayoko. Fabregas. He's getting on a bit. We already know that. Um, what's his stamina? Is there? A, I can't remember if it's stamina in this game. It is. Stamina 73. Compared to Bakayoko, for example, I'm guessing it's much higher. Yeah, 85. So I think that's what I want to do. Going forward, I'm really happy with this team. We've got a lot of great attacking players. So I guess we're going with more defensive options. In terms of our budget, we have almost 100 million euros. I mean, that's absolutely mental. I'm a little bit concerned about our salary budget being only €80,000. And as far, as far as I know, I don't think you can actually change that. Maybe I'm wrong. I know that there is... If I go over to manager's office and then... Uh, oh, can you do it in club account balance? I don't think you do it here. Can I, can I actually change it? I don't think I can. What? Fabregas? How much money is he on? 130 Pfft. wow okay um he's not worth that that is absolutely ridiculous even Adrian Silva 90,000 what okay Fabregas might have to go you know at 32 years old 80 rated I think we can probably do a lot better but like I said as far as I can tell I don't think there is a way to change how much money you have because we have we have the ability to swap how our income is handled. We can get it received as salary budget or transfer budget. So I think 
I don't know. Do we leave it as it is? Oh, hang on. Contract option payments. We can do that with our transfer budget. Okay, this is this is really cool. I like that you can control it, but I would like to be able to change how much of my money is available just for contracts. Unless I'm going crazy, I don't think there's a way to do that. But uh, either way, let's go back into our team here. And we are going to decide which players are going to be leaving. So as far as I can see as well, we don't have any players just on loan. I think you can check that here somewhere. I think normally it's at the bottom there, right? The sports director's comments. It'll say whether they're on loan or not. But every single player here has a contract here. And they're not on loan. So we've got freedom. We can pretty much sell and buy whoever we want. Okay then. Let's go ahead and I think I'm going to try and sell Jovetic and Slimani. Because we have Augustin... Pellegri and Sia. Probably saying his name wrong. So if we can sell Slomani. Transfer policy. We're going to be open to offers. Place on transfer list. And open to reasonable offers. I'm not going to loan him. I want to sell him. Um, same with Jovetic. I just don't think I'm going to use him. I'd rather spend big money on a defender. You know, I'm thinking of going all out. A proper defender. Uh, I'm happy with the wingers. I'm happy with our midfielders. Onye Kuru, see Fabregas. That is ridiculous. He's worth 15 million as well. Absolutely going to be uh, offering him up for sale. Even though he's a great player and don't get me wrong. Yes, I'm still a little bit salty. He left Arsenal all those years ago. But for that kind of money, you know, his wage is 140k roughly. It's just too much. It really is. Uh, we've got good right backs. I could maybe loan out this guy here, Gwinda. Nguinda, let's go ahead and do that. List for loan. Okay. Uh, Zagre as well, maybe. Although we probably should bring in another left back. We've only got Balatore. I know Henriks can play left back. Okay, so that's another thing we probably need to do. Naldo, he's worth 500k. Oh my god. Not even worth selling him for that. Um, I know Badia Shield is a very decent player. Again, I've probably butchered his name. Uh, Maripan looks good as well. We've got... Quite a few keepers. Maybe we could try and sell Benalio. He's on 23,000. And I'd rather use Lecomte and Subasic. So let's go ahead and list him up as well. I think that's good. We absolutely need to bring in a left back though. Because I am going to list this guy for loan. So a left back, a centre back and a midfielder. That is what we're going to be doing. Because of the salary budget... We're probably going to have to sell one or two players before we can go big on a proper centre-back because their wages will be high. Right, so let's go ahead and go for a centre-back. And then we want to go... Age doesn't matter too much. I'm just not looking for anyone over 30, I guess. And to be fair, I want someone that's relatively good at this point in their career already. So I don't want like a 16-year-old. So let's go with an 18 to 30 range there. Market value, again, there's no real limit at this point. As I mean, no one's going to be over 90 million, right? Although, it, it could it could happen. Okay, just, just because we probably should. Let's drop this to 70. Although, even at 70 million, I won't be able to afford him because the market value only means, you know, their market value. It doesn't mean that's how much they're going to want for him. So, let's drop this again to 60. I think that's good. Weekly salary, um, we'll leave that. Actually, no, we're going we're to change this. Let's go ahead and add in a maximum of 65 for now. Something like that. Overall rating is important. I don't want to have 100 million players in this list. So we're going to go from 77 rated upwards. Something like that. So that brings back zero search results. Let's go ahead and try that again because clearly it was a little bit too defined. Let's go ahead and go in with a max of 85. Okay, that's 1,600 res results. That's probably too much as well. So let's go ahead and put the age thing in again. 18 to 28. Okay, that's down to 930. Now, not all of them will be just centre-backs because some strikers, for example, Hugh Gill can actually play as a centre-back. So we want to go all the way down here to centre-backs. Keep going. And there we go. Right. 
we have John Stones, De Vry, Romagnoli, Manolas. What you can do here is actually sort by market value. They've also got release fees showing here. Long lay for 57 mil. That's a bargain. Absolute bargain. Uh, Maguire for... Oh, it'll be zero. That means he has no release fee. Imagine if you could release him for zero euros. That'd be pretty hilarious. Uh, Pavard there. Matip might be a decent choice. I wouldn't mind Matip, actually. We've got Lindelof there. Rugani. Ooh, okay. Rugani. We're going to go ahead and add him to my list. Dakunam. Oh, that's... Isn't his name Genpo or something? He's gone with a different name here. We've got Militao, who's just joined Real Madrid. Savic, Kimpembe. Ooh, okay. That could work. List him up. 30 million to release him. A Kanji for 40. I think the reason I'm looking at release fees is because it does save a lot of pain when negotiating with players, because you just know for a fact you can get them for this price, maybe even less. We've got Kera there. I actually like him a lot. It's very versatile. We've got Ruben Diaz. That might be a good shout. Because I've got I've got to take into account their wages as well. Oh, Kanate. Oh man. He would be incredible. Oh, we're done. I don't need to I don't need to look at anyone else. We've got Mustafi here. I'm actually gonna list him. He would be genuinely good. Oh my god, that is hilarious. He would actually be good. Kaldara. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I wasn't expecting to see him there. For 20 million. He's only on 54k per week as well. Mustafi's on 60k. Overpaid or what? Uh, Diallo's just gone to PSG. There is a lot of choices here. Um, no. Upamecano. Oh my god. His face. <laughs> Didn't really look much like him. Um, Zuma. Nah, I don't want Zuma. Yerimina, no. Eric Bailly. It's not a bad shout. That wouldn't be bad, actually. I'm a big fan of Bailly in FIFA and Pez. He's he's a very good defender. We've got Diop. Uh, have I got enough here to, to go off? I think probably we do. Um, I'm not too worried about looking at many more. Jemison, this is our guy. He's up for... Oh, that's market value. Release fee, zero. That's good. Let's just, just check if there's any real bargains here as well. We've got Samuro as a centre-back for 11.5 million. 18 million for Gomez there. Just some real bargains, because I do love a bargain. But I think we're getting to the point now where they aren't going to be much better than the players we already have. He's very good for 5 million. Can play centre-mid as well. That's interesting. I'm going to add him. Okay. And Dika. Ooh. God, there's too many. There's too many. There's actually too many players to look at. Okay, let's do right backs now because we've got a nice selection of centre backs. And just saying, by the way, this episode will not have any gameplay. Uh, I can tell that my game is actually lagging. So if I went into a game right now, it wouldn't work. I need to adjust some settings before I do that. So apologies for that. We will be just doing this. We'll be looking at players. Uh, it wasn't right back. It was left back. Sorry, we need to do left back. And then we'll have a look at centre mids really quickly. So we've got 808 results here. And let's go ahead and scroll down to left backs. There we go. So we have Robertson, Sandro. Um, is he going to be a first team player or is he going to be backup? Do I go with a backup? Kalasinac there, Rodriguez, I think I want a bit more of a bargain here because I don't want to spend all my money on a left back that's not even going to be a first team player. How is Angelino worth 41 million for the release fee? Jesus. So there's Balatore and that's a little bit concerning that he's he's actually got a release fee that low. That is a little bit worrying. Um, Tierney, oh man I wouldn't mind getting some, some Tierney in this team but of course He's at Arsenal now. We've got Chilwell, Castro, plays for Wolves, of course. Biragi, or Biragi, sorry. Hernandez, no. Ooh, Rui, I didn't even think about him. This is the beauty of going through long lists like this. You really do see some great players. Amavi, I remember when he was at Aston Villa. He's a good player. Let's go ahead and list him as well. Uh, Vendel, decent player. 
Anyone else that would be a bit of a bargain? Um, wow, one million for him. Moreno, honestly. Jesus, uh, two million for Kone there. How are they so cheap? I mean, for example... Okay, he's 36 mil because he's 20. Okay, but... That's so much more expensive when you can get someone for literally... Look at this, 3 million for a 76 rated left back. That really isn't bad at all. And his wages will be quite low as well. 20k. Wow, I'm really surprised. Some of these guys are worth pretty much nothing. And they're pretty high rated as well. Oh, Lukaku. He can play all the way up as left winger as well. I'm, I'm going for Lukaku. Is that enough, do you reckon? I think that's probably enough. I don't think we need to worry about adding too many more. I should be able to get some of these players relatively easy. We can look at listed players as well, transfer listed players. But let's go ahead and look at centre midfielders. Like that. DMs as well, because that, that works fine. And let's search that up and see who pops up. So we want to go centre mids. Okay. De Jong. Oof. I wouldn't mind De Jong, Goretzka and Dombele. Let's go over to the release fee again. The release fee is just such a great way to get a broad idea of how much you're looking at for a good player here. Oh, Ceballos, 34 million there. These guys are very, very expensive. So I would certainly be looking for a better deal. We've got Nandez there. I wonder if he likes Nandos. That is such a bad joke. Shut up, Matt. Um, Lopez, good midfielder, young could work he's going next to Bakayoko so he can be a bit more of a creative midfielder doesn't need to be necessarily defensive you know uh who else we got here Renato Sanchez he's actually not at Bayern he's gone to Leon, has he not or Lille maybe one of those guys uh McTominay for 14 mil um Wilshere <laughs> yeah I'm good I don't really know if there's anyone here that really takes my liking so far. Denis Suarez. No, good, thank you. Okay, let's have a look at... Uh, if I if I reset this, clear that, clear that. Let's go for special search, transfer list. Who is transfer listed and ready to leave? Doesn't look like many. <laughs> Fabregas is there, of course. Uh, so we've got Elmas there, Cataldi. Yeah, these guys are just not high enough. Gibbs White wouldn't be bad. Okay, we leave it for now. We will go for the other guys. I think my priority is going to be either Rugani or Kimpembe. Then again, Mustafi, I, I kind of want to do it just because it's Mustafi, you know? I, I, I don't know, man. He's actually very, very decent in football games. He's got very good heading and jumping, as you can see there. Um, really good aggression, ball winning. He's really good at the possession game, which is what I do. The short passing is good as well. It kind of does make sense. Although he may not be very good in real life anymore, it might it might work. That genuinely could be a good signing. The only other thing is I kind of wanted a left-footed centre-back to go next to Jemison. And Kimpembe is the only one that can offer that. So, I don't know, man. You got the affection slider here. That's how basically how likely they're to join, right? Um, oh, I don't know what to do, guys. This is a tough one. The salary is a big thing as well, though. Kimpembe will pretty much max out our sal salary budget. Budget. I can't speak. Um, this Martinez guy, then. Everything's 69. Is that a bug? He's kind of steadying out throughout his uh, his graph here. You can see he's probably not going to reach much higher than this but he is very decent isn't he he's kind of got stats everywhere which i quite like his injury resistance is only two kimpembe is three okay well i'm definitely gonna go for lukaku i just need to decide on a center back so let's let's go with lukaku first so this is how we're gonna negotiate they're not happy with the way negotiations have gone to successfully sign and we need to offer better terms okay uh, well, his release is 5 mil, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. I don't want to offer a player weekly salary. He would welcome a move to our club. Um, well, 
That's how much he's on now. 21. Was it 21? Let me just double check this. I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, it's easier to do it that way. He's on 19.5. So if I offer him 21.3, he probably will join. Let's do that then. Three years. Looks like I can go with four years. Release clause. Can I just get rid of it? Yep, I can. Okay, let's offer that. So every time you make a negotiation, it counts as one of your five. But that does reset throughout the window. So don't worry. It's not like I can only sign up to five players. It doesn't work quite like that. It just means you can't make 20 offers in one go for 20 different players. Which actually I, I do agree with. I quite like that. So next, do I go with Rugani, Kimpembe, Mustafi, or Kaldara, or Kaldara, however you say his name? I'm thinking Kimpembe fits what I'm looking for more because he's left-footed. And that is what I wanted because I'm going to put him next to Jemison, who is right-footed. 83 rated, pretty high salary though, so we would need to sell a player to make it happen. Yeah, I think, I think Kimpembe is a very good shout. He's French as well, he's staying in France. So we'll go ahead and start negotiations here. So his release was 35.4. Let's go ahead and do his salary next. Oh, hang on. He's not convinced his role at our club will be the right one. I don't see the issue, bro. 76k. Let's offer a five-year contract. Can we take out the release? It's non-negotiable. Uh, 39.9 is going to be his release fee. Any more than that. And it looks like I'll be rubbing him up the wrong way. Um, he's not convinced. Okay, well, we'll try. Worst case, it doesn't work. We go for someone else. Let's go ahead and send that off. We also have a youth team, which we can take a look at here. Uh, I believe these guys are all made up. These aren't actually real players. Uh, you can see, actually... We've got players from Scotland, for example. I don't know why they would end up at Monaco, England. So I don't think these are real players. But tell you what, some of these guys could be very good. And roughly can fit into the team soonish. Let's see defensively what we've got down here. Okay, so goalkeepers and defenders, not great. This guy could be decent. Hmm, He's worth 2.9 million already. So with these guys, I can sign them up to the first team. What I'm going to do is keep an eye on these guys just throughout the season. This guy, for example, is worth 3.6 million. From Finland, left midfielder, left-footed. Okay, that's good to see. And the graph thing is brilliant. You can see the trajectory and how he's doing. You know, and it shows whether a player is going to make it or not. Um, like this guy, for example, is just climbing so quick. We've got Viner here. 2.6 million from Wales. Left-footed striker. Might be worth taking a look at him in a couple of months. So we should be hearing back from the two deals that we've sent off here. And let's see what happens if they've been successful. Well, straight away I can see here, Kimpempe deal has broken down. Lukaku, oh, oh, okay. He's asking for better terms. Take a careful look at what's on the table. Okay, so Lukaku looks like it will be a done deal if we can just maybe give him a little bit more money. I'm guessing that's what he wants. Kimpembe, though, no. Wait, what? He's more interested in playing somewhere where he'll feature week in, week out. He will. He will play every game. Well, it's his loss. We'll be going for someone else. Let's go ahead and go back into negotiations here. Other teams. So, Lukaku. He's renegotiated already by looks fit. So, he wants 1.7 thousand more. He wants an appearance bonus. Um, I'd rather not have the appearance bonus in there. Oh, non-negotiable. <laughs> um, okay, I'll offer him 1.5. And that's fine. A little bit less. It, it really adds up. So, Kimpempe's gone. We'll remove him from listed players. Who else do we go for then? Back to square one with defenders. Uh, Rugani, Mustafi. Maybe Rugani is a good choice. Um, see what, I might look at other centre-backs that are left-footed. I have found Mario Hermoso, who just joined Atletico, I believe. But I don't know if it's actually going to stop me. I'm doing this out of curiosity almost. I want to see if I can get through and sign him. But uh, I think my favourite choice I found so far 
is now Saar. I love this guy. Left footer can play left back as well, which is pretty ideal, even though we've just signed Lukaku. But that doesn't matter. I think he's going to be the player we go with. Martinez is still a good choice, but uh, let's see if we can get Saar. He's on around 40k per week. He has a market value of 44 and a release of 61. So if I can go in and get him for maybe 50, something like that, I reckon that would be an incredible deal. I can always loan him with an option to buy because that's in this game. Uh, the club is resistant in parting with one of their key players. It looks like I might have to pay the full release clause. Um, I'm going to go in with 53 and I'm going to trade a player because, of course, we have quite a few. So uh, I'll just double check I get the right players. Um, okay, apparently I can't check that here. So Slimani, Jovetic were good choices that I could sell. They're staying in the league if I include them here. So do I want to be gifting my rivals good players? Maybe not so much. Um, oh, I could offer Fabregas and just, just get rid of him. Maybe that will help. If I offer them Fabregas and drop this... Okay, it's already done it automatically. It's reduced how much I'm offering. So let's do that. Contract for three years because he's too young to offer more. I'm going to offer him a little bit more money to try and sweeten this deal. Release fee, I'm guessing, is non-negotiable. Yeah, so let's make that 54. Okay, that's less than what he's got now. I'm going to offer him more. He, he seems to be a little bit unconvinced. So I'm going to offer him a bit more money. Because he's going to be a great player for us. Um, I'm going to give him an appearance bonus. Clean sheet bonus as well. Uh, if I do that, does it? No, it doesn't make a massive difference. I think just offering him a little bit more money. Let's, let's see if that works. That is going to be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the first episode of this Pez series. This Master League series with Monaco. We'll still be waiting on those new signings. Hopefully we can bring in Lukaku in the next episode. I'm pretty sure that will be a done deal. I'm not so convinced we're going to get Saar or Homoso. But we'll find out in the next episode. I'll try and sort out the graphics so I can actually play a game without it being all laggy. Like Even right now, it says I have encoding overload. So I will look into it. Thank you for watching this episode. Make sure you are subscribed. Leave a like and I will see you for the next episode.